Welcome back to another episode of the Extreme One Chunk Iron Man. On this account I complete everything in a chunk before rolling a random new chunk around me. The remaining items before I can roll my first chunk are the Dark Claw and Dark Totem from Scotizo, Seractus Pet and Jar and a Draconic Visage. And in this episode we are going to work on all of the goals and we might even get some bonus upgrades. Sit back, grab a snack and enjoy the new video. Alright, we are finally training on Moss Giants. I've seen a lot of you guys comment about the Moss Giants after all the Hill Giants. And I'm training my ranged on Moss Giants. In the last episode, we managed to get the Red Dehyde Body and Vambraces from Brutal Dragons. And I only have 40 range, so it's time to, uh, to work on 60 range to equip the Red Dehyde upgrades. And yeah, I think Moss Giants are the perfect target for this. Maybe I can get her some mossy keys and we should get a few totem pieces as well. And I only have a regular bow and iron arrows and black knives. So I'm probably going to start with the regular bow and maybe later on switch to the knives for a faster XP. Can we finally get fishing XP? I've had magic XP like four times. I think I need one more fishing for a level. And it is magic again. Unlucky. Apparently it's 50-50 but it doesn't feel like that. Just got 47 ranged and with that level we have reached 950 total. I think the 1000 total in the first chunk is uh, really starting to look possible right now. There we go. 99 attack. Um, we are maxed out DPS basically. The chunk guy is growing st strong, guys. Nice. Okay. That looks uh, cool. Trent my cape. I, I guess we switch to the fence next and uh, go for max melee in the first chunk. I think it's going to happen. Since we didn't get lucky on Scotizo. So yeah, let's keep grinding. We can argue that RuneScape is probably one of the most grindy games out there. I mean, I'm playing a freaking one chunk account. But yeah, it means you, me, we are spending a ridiculous amount of time looking at our computer screens. And on top of that, in this day and age, it's pretty normal to work at a computer as well. This is currently my job and I'm looking at a computer all day and playing games. But I'm sure loads of you are probably looking at your screen several hours a day as well. And from those screens comes a heavy exposure of blue light, which can cause all kinds of issues like eye strain, headaches, bad sleep and overall discomfort. I've personally had issues falling asleep in the past and since I've been using the GMG performance glasses that has been helping a lot. My eyes feel less stressed and GMG glasses can help improve concentration and maintain the quality of your vision over the long term. Not only do they help but they also look incredible. So if you want to grab a pair now is the best chance because they are running a huge 40% discount sale that ends in 48 hours from now. Don't miss out on this offer and click on the link in the description of this video. Alright, so the main goal right now is to hunt for the Seragnus, Pet and Jar. Now that I've reached 99 attack and strength, I have the best DPS possible on the boss. And I can just do kills with chocolate cakes, uh, bring a few like decent foods in case I need them for the minions. And yeah, I have basically the optimal setup to uh, grind out the pet in a jar. So I'm going to do some testing on how many kills I can do per hour with this new setup. But I expect this to be uh, pretty fast now. Right, do I stay in a room is the question. That was three and a half minutes. I think I can do two kills per restoring my prayer. At least I want to. Like, I want to do that. Because I can heavily speed up my, my grind this way. So while I'm on the Seragnus trips, there are two ways to speed up my trips. One of the ways is getting the egg potato drop because this kind of extends the trip because I get extra food. And the second way is getting grubby keys. If I get a grubby key on these trips, I will open a chest while I'm still here. And the chest usually always gives 8 pieces of food and very often a super combat potion set. Which I can also use to speed up the kills. So yeah, egg potato drops and grubby keys are amazing to get more kills per hour. There's a pretty big level killing Seragnus. 97 hit points. I love to see these levels. They're very slow at this point. But uh, two more to go and I have 99 hit points. That is pretty cool. Humble beginnings at the Seragnus boss. There's 300 kill count. One tenth of the rate for the pet. 
And the jar is 1 in 2000. So regardless on what kill can I finish. The drops from this boss are absolutely amazing for this account in the future. Level 50 ranged. Nice milestone. I've used blue D height. We've did 10 levels with the regular bow. I think I'm going to switch to the knife since I have more than enough knives to get way over 60 range. And I might as well use them for faster XP. So yeah, it's time to switch to the knives. I expect this to be probably two times better XP per hour. Yeah, this is this is looking a lot faster. So we're going to finish level 60 with the knives. Got myself a book of knowledge. I'm still Lamping Slayer. Uh, trying to get level 15 for Banshees. We only need one more level. And then we can do some experimenting and see if I can kill them in any way. Alright, here we go. Very big level on the account. Level 60 ranged. I can now use my Red Dehyde set that we got from Brutal Dragons. The Body and the Vamps, which is also going to be a... Massive boost for range training actually. Um, I have plus 45 range now. And I had plus 10 previously. So that is quite a, a big upgrade if I want to train any more ranged. And of course we have the uh, red dehyde vambraces upgrade. Which is my best in slot gloves. Um, on this account in this chunk. So we've also completed the best in slot melee and range setup. Awesome. You might be wondering, why did he get another range level? 61 ranged. That's a level for a rune crossbow, right? And uh, yeah, I can actually use a rune crossbow. I don't have one. However, there's one small detail I forgot. With 61 ranged, you can equip runite bolts. Which I guess technically is a requirement because uh, I have rune bolts. So uh, I got one more level, which is just kind of funny. I mean... Equipping rune bolts doesn't do anything, but I figured I might as well uh, finish an extra level, test the uh, red dehyde setup for range training, and uh, it is a lot more accurate, so the XP per hour is a lot more than uh, before. So I decided to finish this level, and uh, yeah, we can now use the uh, rune bolt, which officially finishes all range requirements in this chunk. So I think I'm gonna leave range alone at this point, and uh, go back to the melee uh, training. Cool. Alright, so we've done nearly 100 kills since I last did Seragnus. And I've done a bunch of testing. I'm pretty comfortable killing the spider now. And I'm getting around 15 to 17 kills per hour currently. Which is a lot better than I thought. That means on average the pet and a jar are going to take me around 200 hours. If I hit drop rate that is. And we're also gonna bank a bunch of good supplies. So, pretty good. I've also been able to kill between 2 and 5 Seragnus per full prayer points. This saves a lot of time because every time I run out of prayer I have to go back to the altar and then run back to the boss. So the more kills I can do at the boss before leaving the more kills I get per hour. And this is all thanks to prayer flicking. Since I've been lamping my slayer for so long I forgot that I can telegrap a face mask in my chunk and I've lamped over 10 slayer which means I can officially equip the face mask which doesn't do a lot but uh, it is pretty cool. Kind of like a bonus requirement. There are dust devils in my chunk but I need 65 slayer for that and that's not gonna happen in this chunk but it is cool to have the face mask. And there is 400 Seragnus kills. I am keeping track of every kill count on this account, so by the end of this grind, I'm going to show you guys a total picture of uh, all the loot, which will be pretty nice to see. I am slowly collecting some uh, dark totems over time, and we managed to complete one, so let's see what we get. We got nothing. This is what the collection lock is looking like for the people that are wondering. I'm hunting a dark claw and a dark totem. Over four times dry on the dark claw, which is pretty funny. If you like this content so far, a subscription to the channel and a like to this video would mean the world. Maybe it will boost the uh, Scotizo RNG in the next episode. There we go. Decided to use some of my runes that I collected from Hill Giants and uh, Seragnus. We got 75 magic, which means I can use Fire Wave, uh, which is the highest level spell I can use. Combat spell. Um, I will be able to use... I think stun is probably the highest spell I can use without needing any other players. So uh, we 
might get to that passively, but yeah, with 75, I'm going to use all the rest of my blood runes. So 5,000 blood runes on Fire Wave, that's going to get us a lot of XP. Get a little bit more magic defense for Seracnus. Um, so yeah, pretty uh, pretty nice. Just finished a beautiful dragon trip, another rune square shield and uh, another totem completed. And we got an XP lamp. And this lamp, guys, is going to give us level 15 Slayer. So now I can kill Banshees on the account. I have no idea if I can find a way to kill these. There's probably a way. Like, I think I can save spot them with magic. And if we can, we can get a uh, upgrade to the magic gear. So definitely going to do some research. Just got a magic level 76 from AFKing some, uh, some black demons. We've been using the uh, blood runes with fire wave because it's the best spell I can use. And uh, yeah, getting a lot of XP. Getting some magic levels for the defense for Seracnus. Okay, this is fantastic news. I found a way to kill Banshees. Um, all I had to do was lose aggro at the Ankus. And on this mark tile, they cannot see me. So they can't shoot their weird attack at me. Um, I don't have earmuffs on this account. So if you are too close to the Banshees and you attack them, they will use a weird attack that lowers your stats. So yeah, we can just say spot them like this. So as you can see, I attacked a Banshee too early. Uh, I was within 5 tiles distance and uh, yeah, it lowered my stats. So that was pretty bad. If I attack the Banshees on the uh, Mark tile, they aren't able to instantly use the attack. And I can say spot them. So method found. Pretty nice. And this is what happened. 70 kills in. Just got myself the Mystic Gloves. That was really fast. Uh, nice collection lock slot. Um, best in slot gloves. Killing uh, Banshees. That looks... Wow, that looks really good actually. With the mask and stuff. Wow. Pretty cool upgrade. Let's see. So, only plus 3 magic. But, I mean, it, it, it's a little bit. That tiny magic upgrade also means that we've officially completed best in slot setups for every combat style on this account in this chunk best in slot melee ranged and now mage beautiful um i think i'm going to use all of these runes here uh use them all up collect maybe some of the herbs and uh, we did get a totem piece as well so very nice very happy i found a method for this so quickly and yeah let's go work on the other stuff again another scotisa kill for rune blade skirts and we killed another one for death runes. Never lucky. And there's level 16 Slayer. I'm going to continue lamping Slayer. There isn't anything else really to lamp. So I'm going to try and get as high Slayer as possible in this starting chunk. Might as well. Okay. That is not great. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Alright, let's look up the drop rate for that bad boy. I already have one by the way. This is my... Second one on the account. Oh, this is gonna hurt. It's one in 15.6k. Ooh, I don't have a ring of wealth. And that is slightly less rare than a dragon spear, but a dragon spear would have been amazing. Uh either yeah, that's that's not great, guys. Um, but I'll I will add that to the collection. I, that is on the collection lock as well. Right here, I believe. Yep. And I don't have a dragon spear yet, but... Ooh. Okay, well. First, kind of crazy drop, I guess. I've killed 900 iron dragons and a couple other 100 other dragons. Okay. At the start of this series, I wasn't really sure how possible dragons would be. And, uh... I've killed several hundreds and I found a way to speed it up with an alt as well. Which means the visit is very possible and I don't like making exceptions or skipping items. So yeah, I've been passively working on this Vizzy when I'm not streaming. So yeah, we are definitely going to get this item. I think the average amount of hours for me to get it is 300. However, I'm getting a bunch of good supplies on the way. Which will help future grinds. I get a bunch of GP, uh, totem pieces and super strength pots for Seracnus. So overall it really isn't as bad as it looks. Yeah, I don't really want to go into detail on the method that I'm using. Because uh, I don't want to get limp whipped. What? 
<laughs> oh, no way. Yo, that's kind of cool, I guess. Oh, my God. Uh, we got a second cudgel, guys. <laughs> okay, that's something. That's cool, I guess. I just finished a really long Seracnus trip. And look at this inventory. What an absolute monster trip. So many great supplies. Another Slayer level, getting some good RNG on the lamps. Level 17 Slayer. Cave Slimes. Wow, and there's another Slayer level. Level 18 Slayer. And 975 total level. Beautiful. Just got level 92 defense, the halfway mark to 99. And maxing all of my melee stats. And there's 500 Seracnus kill count. Nice little milestone. Lots of little and uh, nice grinds finished in this video. Got a few upgrades as well. If you got this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to continue working on Seracnus, Dragons and uh, Scotizo. And yeah, hopefully we get one of the uh, big four items in the next episode. Have a wonderful day everyone. Subscribe if you want to be notified for the new video. And I see you all soon.